What's going on guys? Comes here back again on another MLB The Show 20 video. Today I want to talk a bit more about custom leagues because we just saw the Twitch developer stream and there's a couple other videos and it is even better. It is even more insane and practically the online franchise we were all hoping for with everything that we did learn today. There's a bunch of brand new news about custom leagues. No matter if you're a franchise player or a Diamond Dynasty player, you are going to be playing this mode. I'm super excited and I can't wait to get my hands on it myself. Let me know in the comments section what you guys plan to do with the custom leagues game mode. Let me know some of your ideas you have brewing. I'll definitely mention some more that I have thought of a bit later on in this video. But for now, make sure to leave a like down below on this video. Definitely helps me out a ton. Subscribe if you guys are new. We hit 19,000. Thank you guys so much for that. We're just one more step away to get to 20,000 before MLB The Show 20. I know we can do it. So make sure and subscribe if you guys have not yet. A lot of really good videos coming on this weekend. Don't want to miss them let's get into it so let's go ahead and talk a bit about custom leagues the first thing that i want to talk about is probably the biggest thing of all is that you're going to be able to play up to 203 regular season games in a custom league season. Prior, we didn't know if there was going to be a regular season, but now we found out that there will be. You can change different settings, um, and basically there is 30 teams available. You can have up to 30 teams within this custom league, and you can change the amount of games each team plays against the other, up to 7 games at a maximum so in a 30 team league obviously 29 other than you take those numbers 203 games is the maximum schedule that you can have you can have it five games per every other team three games or one game so it's really always going to be up to you on how big of a season you're going to have and then you can change the number of postseason teams you can have two four or eight obviously if you have a uh, smaller leagues sometimes you would probably want smaller postseason teams if you only have eight team league maybe you don't want everybody making the playoffs but this is absolutely huge news I'm so happy to hear there is going to be a regular season included and that there is going to be 30 teams now one other thing I do want to note computer is going to be available so Pretty much the computer aspect is going to happen when you have an unfull league and those teams are going to be controlled by the computer, but they can be filled by anybody at any given point depending on the league type. You can have leagues that are closed and must require an invite for somebody to join, or you can create an open league so anybody can come and go as they please. Obviously, um, the commissioner is going to rule all at the end of the day, but if you do want to have maybe a 30 team league but only 10 actual players and have some computer teams in there as well that is going to be at your disposal additionally as advertised the scheduling is going to be flexible so as i mentioned let's say you have a full 30 team league seven games per other team you're going to play you don't have to play those seven games consecutively and you don't have to play them all at one time you can play them at your own pace of course if the commissioner feels that you're not playing many games if you're kind of slacking they can choose to simulate the games they can either give one team the win or they can randomize and simulate the game and have the winner be founded by that uh, so there is going to be a lot of flexibility which i really like that say uh, you don't want to play the same guy seven games in a row because you want to have a strategy against him and you don't want to go in blindly you're going to be able to do that so it's going to be very flexible as far as scheduling goes you're going to have time like i said it's going to be a lot of fun and you're just going to have to have a lot of players that you can play it's going to be really fun of course trading is going to be a big aspect of that as well and one thing to note there is only trading on the active mlb roster side not the diamond dynasty side and on the active side it is a 40-man roster on the other half it is a 25-man diamond dynasty roster the reason why trading is not allowed within the diamond dynasty side is pretty obvious uh, because those are cards that you own and that would be a very very bad thing to be uh, illicitly trading cards within diamond dynasty squads 
comp. Obviously, that is not something that's going to work, but trading is going to be a vital part of the other side of online franchise, and you're going to be able to, you know, send trades and have trades sent to you as you would for, you know, online franchise back in the day. Another cool thing is you're going to have a trading block available that you can choose players that you're looking to trade, have options for what you're looking to receive, like if you're looking to uh, have power guys, maybe you're looking for a closing to add to your team you're going to be able to have that and send it out on the message board for the league so the other players can see that and think maybe they want to trade with you one key thing to note as far as progression goes within this league it's going to be sometimes non-existent in the fact that you're not going to have a draft and there is no fantasy draft either. If you're hoping for that, there's not going to be an option. The only way to start a league is with your Diamond Dynasty team or with an active MLB roster. But the only progression of sorts that's going to happen is it is a live active MLB roster. So those overalls are going to update correspondingly with the roster updates that you would see in Diamond Dynasty and the regular games. So let's say you have an 83 Joey Gallo and he goes up to an 86 in the roster update. These are based on Diamond Dynasty overalls, by the way. Inside Edge is also a feature within here. You're going to reap the benefits. So they suggested it could be very tactical of you to look at a guy who you think is going to have a good season and maybe have that be a bit of a barter factor. You think this guy is going to be really good at the end of the year, so take a maybe 80 overall, and he might be an 88 overall at the end of the year. So if you're looking to rebuild, it's another factor. So like I said, you really have to look at those kind of things. It sucks that there's not a draft. It sucks that there's not you know prospects that you would have in the minor leagues in an online franchise, but there is still ways to look at rebuilding a team and acquiring new assets based on how the progression is going to work with the roster updates, seeing who's going to go up, and maybe you see an aging veteran who might go down, and at the start of the year, you might think it's better off to get somebody else and trade them off. Here's a couple more things I want to note as far as the Diamond Dynasty side goes. You will not be able to use create a player within here that is going to be excluded from being in custom league. So if you're hoping for that, it is not going to be a feature within this new game mode. And also... Diamond Dynasty, if you choose your custom league to be centered around that, it is going to be open-ended, so you can switch out players as you please. Keep in mind, there is a option available to set a lineup, or not a lineup, but a team overall restriction. It goes from 75 overall all the way up to 95 and or no limit, so you can kind of control and constrict people with how good their team could be, but at the same token, you can also have somebody switch up lineups on their team. Let's say if a new car comes out, they can plug them into their new Diamond Dynasty team within the custom leagues. This can be good and bad. I know I was hoping for... if. Imagine this, if you have 30 teams and you wanted it centered around a Battle Royale team or a certain all-time team kind of thing, what's really stopping somebody from switching it up and kind of putting somebody who isn't supposed to be there? Of course, it could be contested, told to the commissioner, and, and that way they can reset the game as well, which is something else I want to talk about. If there is a contention, if there's something where somebody thought a other player was cheating or if a game ended he, uh, the server got disconnected or whatever the commissioner can go back and reset the game so it can be played again but it is important to note that that is going to be a thing within diamond dynasty you can always be changing whoever you have over there and there we go that's custom leagues in mlb the show 20 like i said i am so excited you you had me right away from you know the first video that i made and then you took it even a step further. It is everything that I really would have imagined it to be. And it is really, like I said, basically online franchise except 
a little bit not as much of the deeper ends of franchise as far as the you know minor league system or that kind of thing but i'm super excited i'm gonna use it for you know just playing like a franchise with friends and then also the diamond dynasty aspect of creating tournaments and doing something on that aspect as well i'm very excited like i said let me know in the comment section what you guys think of custom leagues are you guys going to be playing this and what do you guys plan on doing for it but if you guys enjoyed this one make sure to leave a like down below hope you guys have a great day today there comes somebody yeet love is love and hate is hate to die is an awesome adventure and i can hardly wait earth is a prison i need a great escape you know i'm in my zone when i'm up and out of space you know i'm in my zone when i'm up and out of space you know i'm in my zone when i'm up and out of space you know i'm in my zone you know i'm in my zone i took a bite of the glory